Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going to take a look at what's inside my Nanook case. But first, let's talk about the case itself. Shout out to Guard Dog Foam Inserts. I'm going to link them down in the description. They have all different kinds of cases with custom inserts to fit whatever you need your case for, from camera equipment, tools, firearms, knives. You could just, you can go, it's endless. There's so many different types of custom inserts that they do to fit exactly what you want accordingly, different sizes. Um, check out the link down in the description so you can see everything they have. They have all kinds of stuff and these are extremely, extremely well done cases. Everything's made in Canada. Let's get into this one. So this one is a eight slot case. And you can see this, this custom foam insert. I can actually, if I grab it just right, I can actually pull it out of here to show you the inside. Let me get a good grip on it. You know, let me just grab the metal. So you can see I can pull this right out. Here's the, the foam insert. And you can see here's the case. Now this, you can do so many different cut types of fittings and cutouts and sizes and layers and it's endless check them out if you want to get a badass case like this or something special to fit whatever you have that you want to go into a case but let's get into these knives so we have eight slots here so we have eight knives you can see them right here I'm not sure if you can guess what the names are but the first one is the C, the, well, it's made by Migron, but we have the CM, wait, the, <laughs> the AM8 Morad. Um, it is an M390 blade, titanium frame lock, shred carbon fiber insert, beautiful milling all the way around, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer, flipper action with amazing, amazing action. The Ergos and Comfort. Holding on to this is really, really nice. Beautiful blade shape. This is definitely a uh, somewhat of a tough knife. Um, it's, I wouldn't call it hard use, but definitely something that leans towards a tougher style knife, which I do like a lot. Next, we have something a little more sleeker. We have um, a Timascus insert concept hazakura now this is a powdered steel damascus made with 9cr440c damascus titanium frame lock titanium milled pocket clip that works great backspacer and like i said a timascus inlay now this knife comes in many different configurations, even different blade shapes. This one just happens to be the titanium frame lock version, but there is budget options and more affordable options. Fantastic flipping action. Very, very smooth. I love how the blade fits right inside the, the handle. Very sleek, somewhat of a Japanese style Tonto without actually being a Japanese Tonto, but it's, uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Yeah, I like this one quite a bit. Next, we have the spider, the Spidey Chef, the Spyderco Chef LC200 and steel, basically a steel that's impervious to the environments, uh, practically rust proof, titanium frame lock, no steel lock bar insert, very, very smooth on the drop. It is on washers, so this one is not on bearings, so it's not like complete fall shut action. But the knife can just go through everything, you know. It's supposed to be a, a kind of a kitchen utility knife, something that you can use in the kitchen and for EDC. Amazing blade shape. This blade shape is going to work great in pinch grips, also for opening things up, regular everyday slicing, and then also, like I said, in the kitchen, it uh, is very comfortable. Great access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth, frictionless action. I can slap it shut. It's not fall shut action, but it is very, very smooth. Reversible deep carry wire clip. And yeah, this is one I, I really appreciate a knife like this. Next, we have the Ferrum Forge Gent. 
Now, I'm going to link everything I can down in the description for you guys. So just know that all these knives, or as many as I can, will be linked down there if you guys want to see prices and everything. Um, but this one is a relatively affordable knife for what you're getting. S35 VN blade steel, titanium frame lock, steel lock bar inserts, ceramic cage bearings with a ceramic detent, uh, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. Uh, Ferrum Forge designs amazing flipper tabs. This thing kicks. It has amazing flipping action. The lock bar access, really good lock bar access, easy to disengage, a little smooth on the lock bar. Um, it'd be nice if there was a little texture there, but it's still really, really, really good. And it is a very simple EDC knife, and that's what I love about it. You know, it, there's nothing crazy going on right here. It's just badass all around EDC knife, good choil you can choke choke up um, i love the shape of the choil you can get nice and tight to that edge for push cuts and things like that but you do still have a full four finger grip choking behind the flipper tab the detent you can hear it nice solid detent great knife love it and fair and forge knives, man. I love fair and forge knives. Now, this is one that shouldn't surprise you guys too much. Um, I do have a couple of them. The Tucson TS223, possibly my favorite Tucson. Um, there, there's a handful of Tucsons that I think just knock it out of the park. And this happens to be one that I just adore because of the blade shape, the ergos, the build quality, the fit, the finish. We have an this one is my M391, and you can see I have schmuck all over the blade. Sorry about that, guys. But it does have a beautiful satin finish on this drop point blade. I also have one in 14C. Um, we have micro milling on the titanium. Very, very well done carbon fiber. And it is considered a bolster lock, a titanium frame lock with the overlays of the carbon fiber. So we have a steel lock bar insert. Um, titanium milled pocket clip with the micro milling and backspacer, T8 hardware all the way around, ceramic caged bearings that are on a little racetrack on the inside, ceramic detent ball, stupid smooth action, fantastic detent, amazing sharpening choil. Um, you can see this one's been sharpened a couple times. Um, internal stop pins, you can see them right there which do help with side to side uh, strength. The, the, the build on this knife is just amazing in the ergos. It is super comfortable in the hand. The geometry is very well done. It's a blade shape that's just made for work, made to be used. I love it. And it's, it's a really good price for what you get with that one. Next, this one's gonna be more affordable. We have uh, possibly my favorite CJRB. Uh, yeah, possibly. This is the CJRB Scoria. We have an ARRPM9 steel blade, drop point blade. It has somewhat of a hinder look to it. G10 scales. It also comes in micarta. I like the G10 one, honestly, a little bit more. But titanium milled pocket clip, titanium pivot collar, and titanium thumb studs. Great access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth action. It is on ceramic caged bearings and it has multiple deployments. You have the thumb studs that are super easy to get to. They're nice and separated from the scales. And this is a very thin knife. Um, th th this is slightly contoured. So going up to the thumb studs, you have a lot of room. Very easy to... Uh, to engage or to use the thumb studs beautiful choil that you can get up nice and tight to that edge like i said it's super thin so in the hand that is one thing that surprises you when you do get it it is slim lightweight and even though it's a full-size knife it's it's just very wieldable uh very edcable you can see i put a nice beautiful polished edge on there a RRPM 9 steel is a steel that's super easy to sharpen, super easy to maintain, um, very responsive to stropping. And yeah, this is just, man, it's a good one. I love it. Next we have, oh yeah, we got a Medford. So this is the Medford Swift Flipper. So they make this in an auto. 
This one is the flipper, the manual version. We have an S35 VN blade, and you can tell that because there's an S. The S stands for S35. Beautiful, hand-done, hollow ground blade. I love the satin finish that they're doing. It has a two-tone kind of satin, so you have a satin going this way, and then the satin going up and down. And then we have a titanium frame lock and an aluminum show side. Now, the aluminum show side wraps around and acts as a backspacer as well. Titanium spring pocket clip. Um, nice little cutout right there for the access to the lock bar. And it is very, very snappy. And you also have the reverse flick or thumb flick. So multiple deployments on this one. Now, this one has an internal external stop pin. So you can see the stop pin right there. Oh, also a glass breaker. So you can shatter glass. Um, but you see the, the internal stop pin comes out and actually acts almost like an external stop pin, kind of like, uh, like hinders. Um, my favorite way to do a stop pin, either an internal or external stop pin, but done in this configuration, love it. It has a nice track going around right there. Like I said, it does help with side to side. This thing is rock solid lockup. And yeah, fantastic knife, fantastic action. Um, somewhat, it's more, it's a very EDC friendly knife from Medford. Medford makes some big, beefy, badass knives, but then they have a, a few knives that are really good EDC size knives, and this is one of them. It is on bearing, so. Very, very smooth. Something um, a lot of old hinderer lovers wouldn't expect, you know, because I'm not saying that they don't get very smooth over time with their washers, but the bearings, man, they, they are super smooth. Nice, huge hardware all the way around. Absolutely love it. And that right there is a lock bar stabilizer. It's going to prevent you from unspringing the lock and messing up the lock. And then last knife on the list, we have the Freeman in MagnaCut. So we have a MagnaCut button lock Freeman. This thing, it just screams USA made to me. I love it. Um, we have amazing flipping action. The sound It sounds amazing. The flipping action and what acts as the detent, the button lock, is nice and strong. Stupid smooth action. You do have the fuller here for the reverse flick. The blade has these cutouts that just make it look nasty, man. Convexed edge um, that is very sharp from the factory. I will be sharpening it up soon, putting my own convex on there. Super comfortable. This one is the titanium version. They do have a, they have a few different versions that you can get. Um, you do have to go on their site to get them. I cannot link this, but if you go on their site, um, they have different options if they're available or when they're in stock. Um, like I said, this one's all titanium and it's just stupid good. It's beefy, it's badass, it's big. I don't know so much about their heat treat on their magnet cut yet. I have yet to really, really test this thing or put it through the paces or on the stone. I have used it, but just not to the extent of to be able to say how well done is this magnet cut. I do not know. Uh, but hopefully I will be finding out here at some point when I sharpen it and really test it. The fit and finish on this thing is amazing. It's a hard use button lock which you know button locks usually aren't considered hard use but theoretically you know their lock you have this plunge lock this there's a spring inside here and the spring is constantly putting pressure on the plunge behind the tang of the blade so theoretically that plunge is constantly being pushed behind the tang of the blade making it nice and solid now does that mean the blade can't possibly push it out of the way no uh, of course it probably could but as long as the lock face geometry is done well it should be a very very durable lock or at least has the potential to be a very strong lock but there you guys go um thank you guys for watching like i said everything i can link will be down in the description Check out the Nooks cases. These are awesome, awesome cases. Easy to travel with. And if you want something nice and big for, for whatever your needs are, you can get, you know, nice big cases. 
Um, these, this one's really cool because it has these buttons right here to open up the latches so the latches are not just going to get caught on something and pop open. That's not how it works, at least on this case. Um, but this one's nice, nice, compact, and easy to travel with. Uh, but like I said, all different sizes and different configurations and cutouts, you know, and then you can layer them and all that other good stuff. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.